Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find the equivalent resistance for this infinite resistor ladder. So as you can see in the diagram, there are two resistors, uh, which is one ohm and the other one ohm. Uh, they are in series. And then there is another resistor which is parallel to the second resistor. And then there are also two resistors which are in series. And then in the third branch, the pattern goes on. So how can we find out the equivalent resistance of this infinite resistor ladder? So let's revise how to find the equivalent resistance in series and parallel circuit. In the series circuit, we are simply adding up two resistors value to find out the equivalent resistance. And in the parallel circuit, we will use this formula 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And then I will rewrite the formula like this, which is the 1 over the sum of the reciprocal of the uh, resistor. Let's start to approach the problem by the short circuit method first. And in the beginning, I'm going to do a short circuit in this position. I will add a metal wire here so that the current will just go through this metal wire like this. And then all the resistor behind this metal wire can be ignored. So what is the equivalent resistance of this uh, simple circuit? It's very simple. It's just one ohm. And then I will short circuit the second branch. I will add the metal wire here so that we can ignore all the resistor here. And now the circuit becomes like this. It's a 1 ohm resistor which is in series with the parallel circuit of 2 1 ohm resistor like this. So how can we find out the equivalent resistance for this setup? And we can do like this. First, we find out the equivalent resistance for these two parallel resistors. We can use the formula we used before. It's one over one over uh, one over one plus one over one. So this is simply equals to one over one plus one. I will leave the answer like this, and then I will add one more resistor here to the answer before. And so the equivalent resistance is 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. So how about we short circuit the third branch like this and I put the metal wire here and discard all the resistor behind this metal wire. And now the circuit will become like this. So how can we find the equivalent resistance? Okay, we can imagine that this resistor is indeed in parallel with this resistor. So their equivalent resistance is 1 over 1 plus 1. And then I will add another resistor. So I will add 1 in the front. And these are the equivalent resistance of this free resistor. But be careful. This one ohm resistor, we are in parallel with the equivalent resistance we find out before. So now we'll do a simple diagram like this. This is the one ohm resistor, and it is in parallel with two resistor. The one is one ohm, which is the red one, and the other one is one plus one over one plus one like this. And this is, I use the green. And then the remaining, this red one, is this one. So it's clear now. We need to find out the equivalent resistance for this setup. Okay. I will first find out this part first. So we are going to find with 1 over 
1 over 1 plus 1 over the equivalent resistance here 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 Wow, and then I will add one more resistor here. So I can simplify this. Um, I can say, someone may notice that this is the continuous fraction. I can simplify like this. And this pattern is very similar to the continuous fraction for the golden ratio. So, how can we find out the exact value of this circuit? And now let's assume the equivalent resistance of the whole circuit be R. And that means that this whole thing, we can say that it is equal to R. But uh, let's look at this part. This part is exactly the same as the pattern we uh, have seen before. So now I can do like this. I can make it as the equivalent resistance here and then this is the 1 ohm resistor and this is another 1 ohm resistor which is in parallel with the total equivalent resistance as before. So now how do we interpret this circuit? We can write it, the total equivalent resistance is equal to 1 plus the parallel arrangement of these two resistors, which is uh, 1 over 1 over 1 plus 1 over R. And let's simplify this equation a bit. And then we can, so 1 over 1 is 1. And we can make the denominator like this, R plus 1 over R. And then I can uh, reverse the fraction like this. And then I can multiply uh, both sides by R plus 1. So this will be R plus 1 plus R. And then we can do some more simplification. R plus 1 plus R. And then there are two R on the both sides. We can cancel it out. And then the equation becomes R squared minus R minus 1 equals 0. So we can use the quadratic formula to solve. And it is equal to negative, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 whole square minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 divided by 2. So we can do some more manipulation. And inside the square root, we have this guy. Uh, this is the positive one. And we notice that there are two minus i here. So this is plus 4. So overall, our equivalent resistance will be equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. And this is exactly equal to 5. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for your watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.